glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Pac-12 expansion has only enhanced this conference's credibility on a national scale. New coaches bringing great new innovative ideas, particularly on offense, gives this league an opportunity for a showcase like we're about to enjoy. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Stanford Stadium, and it'll be a great place to host today's exciting football game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Stanford has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Oregon's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two. And they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them. And sometimes you can overlook the fact that he's the It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. the 45. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That'll make it second in inches. made around the 29 yard line when you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that you've got something working gets out to around the 18 and that's their third first down of the drive the defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board these tackles around the 10 yard line that makes it second and two from the 10 yard line. It's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll be a first down there on the four yard pickup from the back. That's an excellent call against an aggressive defense. Once those linemen and linebackers bit on the pass play, they completely lost track of the runner. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. 
Have a look at the action in Piscataway. And for Michigan State, they get into the end zone on the last play of the game. And for Johnson, a good day. More than 200 yards passing. The Spartans take it by three. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Brian, ready to kick. He'll return it from the six. Oh, man, he took him down hard. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They come out in a goal line set. Good outside run there. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Let's go! Jack, Jack! Fox two! Fox two! Throws it in a hurry. And they'll get him in the backfield. That'll be a loss of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up third and six. From their own 30-yard line. Third down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Tyler was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Johnston is the punter. He's taken down at the 48. The Ducks really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen and not to mention your wide receivers, but he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. Oregon is up by a touchdown. down around the 38-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. What a play. And that'll set up a first and goal. Let's go. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Ducks! And he adds the extra point with a three-play, 52-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 14-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Play fake. And a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. This second way better tighten it up. They're going to slow down this drive. From the 46-yard line. It's first down. Here he goes. He 
He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at about the 27 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 27. Strike to his receiver, no good. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Two time, two time. From the 16-yard line, second down. Here's a running play. And he hits him hard at the five. That makes it first and goal. Second and goal. One yard to the goal line. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That makes his third and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. Oregon's in front by 14. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Throw incomplete one of his receiver. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Yard line. Call a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. All day, just like that. Just like that. Check number six. 
He gets out to about the 38 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 21. And he's tackled at about the 13. Franklin with the tackle at the 13-yard line. That makes it second and two. pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. A huge play and now they're in a great position to score. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and goal. PAT. It was a 12-play, 69-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 21-3. Brian looks ready to kick this one off. From the center, he's out to the 30. The 50. At the 30. And he's finally brought down at the 16-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Makes it to the five. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Down bounds at the one. That brings up second and goal. Touchdown, Stanford. was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He makes the PAT. So a short three-play, 16-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 21-10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff.
He'll take it from the two. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. The Ducks obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense continue to try to put more points up on the board. So the sack makes this a second and long. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Stanford's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Gets it on the inside. Runs outside for a nice game. An incredible series for the defense, and they get them out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. Lamb awaits the snap. Brought down at the 46. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. He heaves it deep. Almost intercepted. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety. So the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. He wants it all going long. He's tackled around the 13 yard line. the way it was supposed to and the net result is a loss the spike will stop the clock third and 14 coming up here ball on the 18 yard line got a man tackled for a loss that makes it fourth and long. He's looking for six, and this will be caught. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Taken at the five. Got the corner. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. There's been no lack of scoring here as we've reached halftime. The score, Oregon leads 21-17.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Stewart from the five. Tackle at the 31. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. the 33 yard line a two yard run by the halfback that makes it second and eight from their own 33 yard line second down down 10 yards to go ball on the 39 and they make the stop right around the 36 yard line personal foul face mask defense concentration laps right there the coaches will be giving them an earful for it too Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. yard line. Sack. 
And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They're ready to begin another drive. Oregon holds a four-point lead. Makes it out to about the 49. They'll bring him down right around the 38 yard line. First down. Two tight, two tight. Three down, three down. Key 15. Check three, check three. Tackle made at the 36 yard line. made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Oregon is up four. Tana goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down at the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 23-yard line, second down. down. They line up in the jumbo set. And he hits him hard at the 43. That is a loss of two yards. That's three down and one to go. Oregon's up by four. to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. He gets hit out of bounds around the 50-yard line. From the 50, third down. He's 
tackled at the 42. Taken down to the backfield. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. This is the eighth play of this drive. He makes his way out to about the 35. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Second down and 11. Ball on the 28-yard line. Hey, look, easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. This one's going deep to the end zone. Incomplete. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Going for it all to the end zone. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Got a man. Watch out here. And he shoved out of bounds around the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Flips it middle to the running back. He's tackled around the 45 yard line. That makes it second and eight. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. Loose football. The offense scoops it up. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. Stanford just took their first time out. First and 10, ball on the 41-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30, and down he goes around the 26-yard line. Stanford's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws it out of oh, He's hit hard for a loss. Two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 28. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Let's go, 
Sets up the screen. Tailback's got it. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 14-yard line. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. It's the ninth play of the drive. Touchdown, Ducks. Oregon staff, they've got to love the fact that they've got this kid in this situation week in and week out. Yeah, I mean, they know that when the chips are on the table, they've got to find a way to be able to get him his touches, and this time he steps up in a big way for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Oregon, the kick. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Under a minute left in the game. it out and he's tackled right away spikes the ball from the 37 yard line it's second down He zips it out to the left. And this one falls incomplete. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Deep ball, laying it out there. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. And the ball game's over. The Ducks get the victory, 28-17. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.